Hello everyone, we hope you're doing well at home. We're really missing you here at school, but we know you're working really hard and doing great things while you're at home. Today we're gonna be talking about time again, but specifically elapsed time. So our learning goal is, I can tell and show elapsed time on an analog clock. This is gonna be a little bit more challenging, but you've got this. You're super smart and you've been doing awesome so far. So you're going to need a paper and a pencil throughout this video today to take notes. We're going to be doing some guided practice and we're going to be doing an exit quiz. So make sure you have enough paper and a pencil or enough materials to write on and write with. Pause the video if you need to go and find those. I want you to write the definition for elapsed time. Elapsed time is the amount of time that passes from the beginning of an event to its end. So, from the beginning of a movie to the end of the movie, or from the beginning of a class period to the end of a class period, or from the beginning of school to the end of school. So that would be elapsed time. Here we have a clock, and we're going to practice elapsed time first. I'm going to show you how I do it. So you're going on a trip to the water park. It takes one hour to get there. What time would it be when you get there? So right now, the clock is showing what time. If you said one o'clock, you're right. Great. Then it takes one hour to get there. So I'm going to move my minute hand all the way around the clock one time. When it moves around the clock one time, it also moves the hour hand one hour. So my minute hand is going to look like it's in the same spot, and my hour hand is just going to move one hour. So then I would have gotten at the water park at two o'clock. So one hour is my elapsed time, my beginning time was one o'clock, and my ending time was two o'clock. Let's try another one. The parade starts at 12.30. If it lasts 15 minutes, what time would it be at the end of the parade? So here the clock shows 12.30. If I'm going to watch the parade for 15 minutes, then I'm going to need to move my minute hand. We're talking about minutes. So 5, 10, 15. So my minute hand is going to move 15 minutes, which then would give me what time? Do you know what time this is? Yes, 12.45. So the parade ended at 12.45. Great work. Here's another one. One day after school, you rode home on the bus with a friend. You were on the bus for 45 minutes. What time did you get off the bus? So school ends at 3.05. I'm going to have to move my minute hand, I'm talking about minutes now, 45 minutes. So I'm going to count by fives because we know that between the one and the two is five minutes. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So my minute hand is going to move 45 minutes to here. Now, as my minute hand is moving on a clock, so is my hour hand. So when I'm drawing this, I'm going to have to shift my hour hand just a little to show that it's getting closer to four o'clock. So what time would it be when I got off the bus? If you said 3.50, you're right. Good work. Now we're gonna do some guided practice. I'll continue to show you a few, and then you're going to do some with me, and then you're gonna do some on your own. Make sure you have your paper and pencil ready and enough space to write on. When you're following along, I'm going to be showing two clocks, a start clock and an end clock, and then I'm gonna be having my times at the bottom. If you wanna draw this out, you're more than welcome to, but I would have the two clocks and the times on the bottom as well to help make it easier for you. So you get up at 7 a.m. and you have 45 minutes to be ready for school. What time do you have to be ready by? So here's 7 o'clock. I'm going to show that on my first clock. That's my start time. And I know my elapsed time is going to be 45 minutes. That's how much time it is from the beginning getting ready for school to the end. So as I do this, I'm going to count my minutes. So by 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 
45. So that makes it 45 minutes. So I know my minute hand is going to have to go at the 45 minute mark. But I'm going to have to move my hour hand a little bit because remember that's shifting as that minute hand is working. So now I'm getting closer to 8 o'clock so my hour hand is going to go there. So my end time would be, everyone, 7.45. Nice job. Let's try another one. If school at home starts at 3 o'clock, so I have my start time at 3 o'clock, and you finish at 4.25, so I'm going to make 4, but it's not going to be right at 4 because it's a few minutes after 25. How long were you working on school? So what was the elapsed time? So. We know to get to three, or from three to four, we're gonna have to move an hour, so that's one hour. So now we're at four o'clock, but now we need to get to 425. So we're gonna count our minutes again. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. So my elapsed time would then be one hour and 25 minutes. Give me a thumbs up if that makes any sense. If it doesn't, I want you to jot your questions down on a piece of paper and rewatch the video. If it still doesn't make sense, make sure to ask your teacher about it because the last time is a little bit challenging. We're going to try another one, and this one's even trickier, but I'm right here to help you through it. So I went to the movie last month, and the movie started at 7.12. So my start time is 7.12. And it ended at 8.48. What would my elapsed time be? So to start, I know that I'm already moving an hour. So I'm going to count an hour. So one hour, and then it would make it 8.12. Then I'm going to move my minute hand to here for a minute to count by fives, because for me it's easier to count by fives first, and then go back and count the ones. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and now I'm going to go back and count the ones. So I'm right here, so I'm going to count 31, 32, 33, I have to get to the 3 in order to be able to count by 5s. And then over on this clock, I ended at the 9, so 34, 35, 36. So my elapsed time would be 1 hour and 36 minutes. Another way that you could do this is you could take 12 away from 48 and see what you have left. So now we're going to move on and we're going to try a few more. You're going to want to draw two digital or analog clocks, sorry, on your paper and then two digital clocks underneath each analog clock. One under each analog clock. So then that way you can see the time written both in digital time and analog time. So we're going to do some together. June was baking a cake. She put the cake in the oven at 8.20. So our start time is 8.20. Go ahead and put that on your paper. Pause the video if you need more time to keep up. So 8.20. It needed to cook for one hour and 15 minutes. What time would she take it out? So I want you to think about what would it be if it was one hour later? So if we're at 8.20, it would be, yes, 9.20 would be one hour later. But then we need to move 15 more minutes. So 5, 10, 15. So my hour hand is going to be a little bit closer to the 10 because it's moving as my minute hand moves. And then my minute hand is going to be pointed at the 7, which would give us what time? Yes, 9.35. Great work. Do your best to do these along with me. If you need to pause the video to set up your paper, please feel free to do that. Or if you need to go back and rewatch and do it as I do it again, that's just fine too. So our next problem... is... It was time for bed. Ben started getting ready. So you should have your two clocks, your start time and your end time. And then we're going to write our digital time. Ben started to get ready for bed at 7.25. So, 7.25. Then write the digital time underneath. 
which would look like that. And it took him 25 minutes to get ready. So we know our elapsed time is 25 minutes. Now I'm going to count up 25 minutes. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. So now my hour hand has moved a little bit closer to the 8 because I'm getting closer. And my minute hand would be at the 10, which would give me what time? Go ahead and write the digital time underneath. And if you wrote 7.50, you've got it. Great work. Let's do another one. Pat started his homework. So set up your clocks. You should have two clocks, a beginning time and an ending time. Pat started his homework at 4.15. So I'm going to make that on my clock. 4.15. There's my digital time. Now on my analog clock, here's my 4.15. He finished his homework at 5.20. So I can put my time on the end clock because I know what time he finished. So 5.20 is my, digi my digital time. And I'm gonna make it on the analog clock as well. So 5.20. What would be the elapsed time? So what would it take for me to get from the start time to the end time? How many hours and how many minutes? So I know if I moved one hour, that would give me 5.15, but I need to be to 5.20, so I know it's one hour, and how many minutes would I have to move up to get from 5.15 to 5.20? So if I'm at 5.15, I just need to go up five more minutes. So my elapsed time would be one hour, five minutes. Great work. Make sure you write that elapsed time on your paper, too. Now is a chance for you to do. I'm going to give you some problems, and then we'll walk through them a little bit after you've done the problems. So, Lily fed her pet turtle every day. She fed him at 3, 4, 325, so our start time is 325. And the turtle eats very slowly. He usually spends about 50 minutes eating. What time does the turtle finish eating? So, 50 minutes is our elapsed time. I want you to pause the video to see what time you think it would be for at the end of the eating time for the turtle. So, it's going to move into the next hour. If you said 4.15, you are right. Because 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, new hour, 40, 45, 50. Great work. Next problem. Go ahead and set up your papers. You have a two o'clock start time and end time. So Sammy was cooking breakfast. She started cooking at 7.40. So here I have 7.40, both digital and analog time. And she needed to cook the food for 25 minutes. So my elapsed time is going to be 25 minutes. What would the ending time be? Go ahead and pause the video, figure that out. If you said that it would be 8.05, you're right, because we did 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes, and then we passed that 12 o'clock, so it's a new hour. Great work. Jason went to the park at, set up your paper, sorry, 4.45. He played at the park for an hour and 10 minutes, so my elapsed time is going to be 1 hour, 10 minutes. Pause the video, give you a little hint there. So that would give me 5.55. Give me a thumbs up if you got that right. Nice work. We're gonna do one more. Mrs. Smith was cleaning the windows. She was cleaning for two hours and 10 minutes. So get your clocks ready, start time and time. We were at two hours and 10 minutes. She started at 5.20. What time did she end at? Pause the video. The answer would be 7.30. So we did two hours. So 7.20 and then 10 more minutes, 7.30. Go ahead and rewatch any of this video if you need to, and then go to the next video for the exit quiz. Great job today!